Hey, what's going on guys? It's Alan from Lonzo Studios coming to you with another quick tutorial in multicam editing. I'm going to review three different processes in multicam editing, three different applications actually. So first one is going to be on uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, second one on Pluralize, third one is going to be on Final Cut Pro. So let's get to Adobe Premiere Pro. Import your footage first of all. Uh, you can click on Command I to import your footage. And here I have both cameras that I want to sync. And what I really like about about um, Premiere Pro is that I can just select these folders and just click Import. And when they do come in, it keeps the folder structure, which I love. So you know you can actually organize your footage outside of Premiere Pro and just bring them in and it will keep that folder structure which is awesome and now what I don't like about this whole process in Premiere Pro is that you'd have to search make sure these clips are you're selecting the right clips that are going to sync up um, I guess a, a way around that is to just import the clips that you need once you have both clips selected um, right click on that clip go down to create multi camera source sequence and when this dialog box comes up what you want to have selected is the audio everything else i just leave as default track i usually um, just select um, track channel 2 and click ok normally if it's just two tracks or two camera angles it'll just breathe through like that it's just when you get to more than three then it starts to struggle a little bit let's collapse all of these and what it does is creates a, um, a multi-cam sequence so now what you have to do is drag that sequence over to your timeline once you got it over here what you want to do is you want to right click and make sure that the multi camera is enabled and it's enabled and so that's awesome and then in order to see the actual angles all you have to do is um, click on this uh, camera view multicam viewer and you will see the, the, the individual angles just like you're seeing in here in the uh, program window okay if you don't see it here then you just have to click this plus button and it'll be among all of these icons drag it down and and drop it right here and you'll be good to go okay so now it's here we have it selected and we can see our camera angles next thing you want to do is double check your audio make sure you have your your clean audio whichever one is the cleanest audio coming in what I like to do is I'll right click on this thing and I will disable multi camera view and then I'll double click to get inside of that multi camera um, multi cam sequence just so I can see my individual tracks my cameras have two XLR inputs so usually I'm getting a feed from the board and I'm also using a, um, a shotgun mic on top of the camera and naturally you want to use that that feed coming from the board because it's supposed to be the cleanest feed right so if you know which channel your feed is on your your clean audio is on you go into audio channels right click go into audio channels and select that channel that is supposed to be on and then you can go back to your back to your sequence right click on it and make sure your multicam is enabled so all we need to do in order to edit this multicam sequence is just play it back and then we can make our cuts see all i'm doing is clicking from different angles click from one angle to the next and if you had more than two angles same same process applies and you're not seeing it in the timeline because it's playing at the moment stopped it now we can see our cuts and we can click down here to zoom in i'm just clicking the plus key to zoom into my timeline and there you can see your cuts and just play back you can see your cuts and there you go and that's all to it say you cut a little too soon and you want to go back earlier just hit your end key switch to your your rolling edit tool here you can click over here as well just to get your rolling edit tool and you can just place it in between the cuts and just slide left or right depending on which and which you want if you want to go back earlier in the cut and in the, in the timeline if you want to place your cut earlier or later then you just slide left or right so if you wanted to do more than just slide left or right with the with the uh, ripple edit tool you can also completely replace any one of these cuts that you that, that you made here in the timeline so if you wanted to replace this cut with another angle you can right click on that angle and then you come up to the multi camera and you can come down here to your different camera angles so if you had more than just two angles it would be listed in this menu here and then you can just switch to the angle that you want to replace it with and it would instantly replace 
replace that angle okay so that's another feature that's available to you that feature is also in in Final Cut Pro all right and that's it um, if you found this tutorial useful go ahead and give it a like subscribe to the channel for more reviews and tutorials just like this one thanks guys appreciate it take care